Welcome to Grub Dudes. Today I'm going to make uh, something I call pipe steaks, and that's basically uh, when I was when I moved out of my parents' house and I became a man, like my father likes to say. Um, I liked hamburgers and hot dogs, and when I moved out, I uh, didn't really know what to make, so I would make both of them. And basically, what it is is uh, taking a big fat piece of meat like this, flatting flatten it out on the uh, on the board, and uh, wrapping it around a piece of cheese, block cheese, or hot dog. Today we're going to do it with string cheese. Mm. So basically, big fat piece of meat. Flatten it down like so. You know, when I first moved out of my house, my father was pissed at me because I made my mother cry. Because when you're Italian, you got to stay at home and, and mow the lawn and, 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 you know, beat up your sister's boyfriends and all that stuff. But I wasn't into that. I just, uh, I just wanted to eat food and, and become fat. So, as you can see, that's what I did. You might want to flatten it about as much as you can in your hands, in case it's, uh, it, you know, the, the meat isn't that cold, it kind of sticks to your board and you end up getting salmonella dying, thrown up all over yourself, unless you like being thrown up on by yourself, works good. So flatten it out like so, we'll do another one. Spin this around, put it in the middle, inch on, half an inch on each side, grab it. Keep rolling it like so. Like I said, it doesn't have to be neat because we're going to, we're kind of rolling this anyway. Pinch the end. Look at that. It's like a child right there. I just gave birth to this thing. Done. Next thing we're going to do now that we have these made, we're going to wrap them up in uh, some cling, cling wrap so we can get the basic shape going. So get your cling wrap, put it down here. This is an important step. If you don't get this right, it's going to spooge all over the place. So take one of your sausages here, if you want to call it that. Pipe steak, patent pending. Roll it up like so. You roll it up about as much as you want here. Take the ends. We basically spin it like this. The more you spin it, the more it's going to naturally conform into a pipe. That's where we get the word pipe. The steak, of course, is the beef part. So we got this perfect like that. It's a perfect shape. You can pat it down a little so it's even. Spin it around like so. Tuck it underneath like that. Put it down. Done. Now we're going to throw this into boiling water because if you just threw this on your, uh, on your grill, or we're going to use a griddle, cast iron griddle, it'll uh, probably be difficult to uh, maneuver. So throwing it into boiling water just sort of gets it a little bit warm, sets the shape, and allows you to uh, you know, roll it along. You know, especially if you're doing it on a grill, it's going to fall right through the cracks. You, know? you could uh, refrigerate or even freeze your meat, put it in the freezer for like a half an hour. It becomes very stiff and easy to work with, which is a good thing. You want to make your life as easy as possible when you're handling 30 pounds of beef. So there we go. There's one. There's the next. Right there. Done. Once the water's boiling, you want to take two of these and drop them gently inside the boiling water. Of course, spin them up one last time and just drop them in there, just like that. Take another one. Spin it up nice. These are only going to be in there for about 30 seconds because you don't want to cook the meat all the way through. You just sort of want to let it set and uh, because we want to get a nice, uh, we want the grill to do most of the work for the flavor. In the meantime, we're heating up the grill. We want it to be about 400 or so degrees and this is looking good. Invest in one of these. It'll keep you from burning your food. Basically, when they all just turn brown, you know it's set. It's okay if there's a little bit red in there because the griddle is going to uh, Sear it nice, make some nice sear marks, and make it nice and crunchy. After 30 seconds, get your tongs, pull these out, like this, on your plate. Let them cool down a little bit, obviously. You don't want to burn your fingers. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait. 
We're going to toast up some buns. We're going to put a little bit of butter on the bun so it, uh, you know, a nice golden color and it's going to crisp up really awesome. We're actually going to griddle the um, buns right on the, right on the grill there. Now that the grill's nice and hot, we're going to put some fat down. This is a combination of uh, melted butter and oil. And uh, just throw some on here like so. Get it nice and lube, nice and coated. We're going to get our pipe steaks here. And just roll them off. Like so. Put two on for now. Let it sear and move it. While those are griddling in the griddle, we're going to get our buns ready. What I like to do, hoagie roll, cut off the ends. Cut it right through about half. Open it up like so. Get another one. That's done. I'm going to toast these up with a little butter. Get them nice and crispy. And then uh, toss our sausages on there. Toss our sausages on there. Sausages, sausages. Toss our pipe steaks. These are done. The cheese is gooing out of it. I got a nice fresh roll here. Take this like so. Put it off. Look at that. The cheese is oozing out. I can't wait to get that thing all over my face. Check that out. Nice. These are pipe steaks. So, I like to dress mine pretty much everything when it comes to condiments. So, like so, like so. Like that. Here we go. Can't have a burger without chips. Go rent a movie, sit in front of your 42-inch TV, and peg out like a fool. Tony Bostoni, Grub Dudes, there it is. That's the way I like to do it. Take a couple of these, crush them up, put them on top, wrap your lips around that thing like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. See that face? That's happy food face. Oh my God. Well, I'm going to go sit my ass in a chair, fall asleep, eating one of these. Oh man, those are good.